Okay, I do believe this was a 1991 or 1990. I can't remember who there was a date on the motor, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway, it's a Lakewood 1600DX. As you can see, it's uh, kind of pointed down, but there's a reason. It's got a crack in the head joint, but other than that, it's in really good shape, considering I found it in a barn. Yeah, uh, it's in really nice shape. But, yeah, it's a Lakewood. Got these, I guess what they call elephant ear blades. Because they kind of do look like elephant ears, I suppose. Uh, the back of it. Three speeds. Oscillating thing. Unlike the older ones, it doesn't have the uh, push buttons. There's the information. Little 1600 DX, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1.0 amps. Lakewood Engineering Manufacturing Company. Uh, 501 North Sacramento Boulevard. Chicago, Illinois, 60612, UL listed, and there's nothing down there but the cobweb. Uh, there's the crack in the neck. It's not supposed to be like that, it's supposed to be like that, or more like this. But because of the crack, it just kind of hangs its head down. But it does run really good. So here's high. Kind of hard to. I don't know if you can get any airflow out of it. Well, oh, I think it moves pretty good air. Move the medium. And whoa. Got a nice low speed. And turn the oscillator on. As you can see, it oscillates pretty good. A little jerky, I guess. <laughs> Go to medium again. I'll do that. Go to high. Someone said these were loud. I don't think it's that loud. I've definitely had louder fans. And O double F spells off. This has a long coast down, if I recall. And this takes a while to coast down. I'm going to be waiting here a little bit, probably a minute at least. Let's 
So there you go, a Lakewood Model 1600 DX. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.